morning good morning welcome back to my channel my name is asia laria on this channel we talk about motherhood health culture and some things in between but today is a very fun day for my children hi vlog you know what I'm <laughs> Where are we going today? Nickelodeon, New York. Today we are doing our second annual trip to Nickelodeon Universe and DreamWorks Water Park. It's inside the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. What is it? Rutherford, New Jersey, something like that. But it's right by the airport. It's not like deep, deep Jersey. So it takes us about like an hour and like just some change to get there. One second, honey. And um, yeah, hopefully we don't hit that New York traffic because that's what. Okay, say hi. Hi. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to watch this video. Stay tuned to watch our video. You'll tell them. So Please hopefully subscribe. we don't hit the New York tra traffic because that sometimes makes the journey a bit longer but we are excited we have our uh, food pack last year we didn't bring food because we didn't know we could bring food and we didn't really prepare well but we didn't really prepare well but hi vlog what are you eating so you guys know when we go on a road trip or at least like two plus hour drive we always stop at the buffet and get takeout it's better than mcdonald's burger king or something like that right louise right. <laughs> what are you eating Check <laughs> so yeah so we're in a lot of traffic right now still in connecticut but we're on our way. <laughs> So, my son's last one was acting up a lot last night, which I was really, really surprised because we have gone the whole summer without any flare-ups. He went through camp without any flare-ups, and everything was really, really going well. But then last night, out of the blue, things were not going well. No, kind of the Bronx. And then he was okay when we came back from the ER because I followed the action plan. And um, but I followed the action plan and things were not getting better. So we decided to go to the ER. And uh, when we came back home, everything was fine. Everything was fine. The morning was fine. And then while we're like on our way here, well, almost getting out of the house and getting on the highway, the asthma started to flare up again. But one thing I always travel with, no matter like where we're going, to my mom's house, continue to spend the weekend with my auntie, the trampoline park or anything, I always keep, let me show you, hold on. Are we going to the town? I always keep his pump with us. This actually stays in the car. But this comes with us in 1, everywhere. Feet, flight right on East 177th go. Street. Okay. Let me try to show you what's in. The, well, inside is just his pump. Let me show you how deep it is. So yeah, you see. I'll show you. The key, but I'll just show you the 
inside. And so this is the case. It's an uh, wait, maybe inhaler case, medication case, or something. But I'll put it. Yes, I'll put it on the link. Um, in the description to my Amazon storefront. But this holds the face mask and then his inhaler. So these come everywhere with us. Um, and then it also stays in the car. But I had to go back home. Like, this was not working. I had to go back home. And I do have the nebulizer machine, you know. But last year or so I purchased a portable nebulizer machine let me show you all here this um, because the home nebulizer machine it doesn't have a carport which I'm gonna order a carport for it now but I ordered it this it's very cute very portable um, so he used this while we were on the highway on our journey he used this um, and like you could put the albuterol right in here. Let me show you. Mommy, yep. Mommy, now let's keep talking about. And it turns on. Hold on, baby. Yes, hold on. So, you know, if you're an asthma mom like me, and um, see, it turns on. There's no albuterol in it right now, so you don't hear it. You don't see it. Um, you know, actually working. But if you're an asthma mom like me, or your, your kid like you know, needs an EpiPen all the time or whatever your kid may, you know, need all the time or like in an ER, emergen in an ER emergency. This case is wonderful. This case is wonderful. I have a bunch of these. Um, and then also the portable inhaler. This is really, really good. So, but I am going to order a carport for the actual nebulizer, like the one we got from the pharmacy. But yeah, but we're in the Bronx. We are 40 minutes away. The journey is taking longer than usual because of this is traffic. It's Saturday, everybody's traveling. We're about to get on the George Washington. Where are we getting on the George Washington Bridge? Yeah, so we're soon to get on the George Washington Bridge. 40 minutes away, 39 minutes away. Is that 11 miles? 39 minutes, 11 miles? Oh my. Yeah, we're 11 miles away, but it's going to take us 39 minutes. Right? This is Times Square. This is Times Square. Oh. Okay. Wait, this is Times Square? But, right? But we thank God you're feeling better, right? Much better, my throat. My lungs are better, my throat is better, everything is now like normal. Yes, amen. And we are ready to have some fun. So, so thank God. Yeah. We really do. It's not yeah. easy Mommy, can I go when you have a kid who has Mommy, asthma you, or Mommy, any type of, where you, where you know, any type of diagnosis. It's not easy. Mommy, what is it? Mommy, at DreamWorks, can I like go down? The slide where and they close the glass on you and then and then they do three we'll see if you're old enough I
ball game or something. And we walked. Like, we walked. <laughs> it was a lot of walking, but we didn't do that today. Um, so, we didn't do that today. Now we're not watching. go to DreamWorks, the water park, and then we're going to go to the Nickelodeon Universe um, Park after. So I'm so excited. You know, the kids are older now, so they can get on a little more rides and, you know, just have fun, make memories. <laughs> the largest water low excuse me the largest indoor water park dreamworks like look at it isn't it beautiful i remember when we came here last year i was just like wow i just stood there and like really took everything in it just excuse like enjoyment happiness freedom like there's no way you can have a bad day you know when you're at dreamworks Boys 
So on our way to the bathroom, I saw a nursing lounge and I immediately became so excited. As you guys know, I love everything about, you know, breastfeeding. I breast exclusively breastfed my children. Um, so anything I see about breastfeeding and, you know, accommodating moms, it just really excites me. So here is a quick tour of the DreamWorks nursing lounge. The lights were dim. They did have the lock on the door and it was working. So that was great. Um, there's two chairs. There is one small coffee table for like the pump and supplies um i do feel like there needs to be another one so mom can maybe kick up her feet because the chairs are not recliners but the plugs were in the right location um it was very clean so you know it just really shows that dreamworks is all about accommodating families another accommodation that i noticed is that they do have a sharps container on the wall for possibly any attendee that is a diabetic, um, EpiPen, or, you know, somebody's taking their Ozempic, or, you know, any other medical diagnosis that requires a needle, the Sharps container is there. This particular water ride that you see here is a great ride for toddlers. The first staff member let my son go on, but the second one, didn't let him he's a bit too tall now you have to be under like 49 inches or so but you know it just shows that you know dreamworks is really accommodating to all age groups and the water here is very shallow as you can see it's just one feet six inches you see this blue side here it goes around the whole re so we did not get on the long rides probably next year we will because that blue ride that blue slide we can get on it as a family <laughs> but they do have some slides like you know for the risk takers you know teenagers adults so you know you'll be having fun as well This is another area for children. As you can see, very shallow water, just three inches.
So over here you do have the Skybox Suites or Cabanas for an extra charge. I did see that they do have a TV in there, a fridge, a preloaded fridge. You know, it's just a little more comfortable for families if you need a little more accommodation than the seats that they have around the resort. Um, I think next time we'll probably do that. Just to let you know, I felt so safe and comfortable at DreamWorks. They have lifeguards everywhere. Everywhere. At the bottom of the slides, at the top of the slides, around this big pool. There's always staff members walking around with their walkie-talkies. Like, I felt really safe there. I really appreciated how they were just, you know, the lifeguards were well staffed. They do offer, uh, excuse me, they do offer life safety vests for the children and adults as well they come in many sizes last year i brought the kids own this year i was like oh they have them already we'll just use theirs but i think when we go back i'll bring our own because they'll be a little more you know fitting to them and they won't be as worn out So around my neck I have the waterproof like foam necklace sleeve I ordered it from Amazon I will link it um, in the description so that's how I was able to capture that moment with us going underwater and just having my phone around my neck you know the whole time so my daughter kept saying like, like mommy I want to go in the small pool let's go in the small pool and I'm like why do you want to go in the small pool let's say in the big pool not knowing that this small pool is a hot Hub. okay i did not know that it, i've never been in a hot tub before i've never been in a jacuzzi and it has the spa feature you know with the bubbles and you can sit down and you know it's knocking your back and massaging your back i i was just over the moon like it was a vibe in this jacuzzi everybody was on their phone you know making calls you know feeling themselves because they're in the jacuzzi and i even called my sister and i'm like i'm in a jacuzzi <laughs>
So DreamWorks closes at 7 and Nickelodeon closes at 10. So that's why we did DreamWorks first. But as I stated, we went last year. So I just, this is footage from last year. So you will see some old footage just to sh really show you guys some more rides. But most of it will be, you know, the footage that when we just went. So just to give you a heads so up. So this is the Nickelodeon view in the morning, like during the day. Another like breathtaking view another like breathtaking park another you know just moment where you really feel like a kid <laughs> It closes at 10 o'clock. That's why we came over here last. Last time we came here first and then we went to DreamWorks. Um, but it is so nice in the night. I like I like Nickelodeon tonight. Look at it. It is so nice in the night. I'll show you. I'll turn the camera around in a minute. But it's a vibe in the night here. <laughs> it really, really is a vibe in the night here. Like, oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> So we're gonna do some roller coasters. The kids are a lot bigger this year, a little taller, so they'll be able to get on I hopefully a few more rides than last year. And I can't wait to ride too. <laughs> I didn't get only I didn't get on any roller coasters last year. No, I didn't. Because a lot of them were like closed. So but I'm excited. <laughs> so let me show you guys. Let me turn the camera around. Like I said, it's way more of a vibe in the night. It's way more energy in the night. Oh yeah, way more. I wanna do this. So on this particular day that we went last year, it was SpongeBob's birthday. So they put on a show of all the characters. It was really interactive. <laughs> you know, it was, it was really cool.
this right here the kids were able to go on by themselves last year i went with them but you know they're older this year they're taller so you know they went by themselves it was really cool <laughs> There is a large variety of rides around the park. They have rides for toddlers, you know, middle-aged kids, you know, your 10 and up. Like this ride right here, definitely for 10 and up or, you know, a preteen, teenager, adult. <laughs> Tina, this is your first time, right? Because she was too, um, she wasn't tall enough last year. So only the boys did it. So <laughs> I'm very excited, but. <laughs> Lene, how you feeling? Monte, how you feeling? I don't know. What's up, vlog? I'm feeling better. I was just coming. No, are you excited about this? <laughs> Jerry, how you feeling? Yeah, now he's, now he's showing the vlog. ready ride <laughs> and I'm I'm shaking I'm so shaking I haven't been on a roller coaster in like probably like 16 years the last time I've been on a roller roller coaster was at Six Flags it had to be like junior year of high school or something like that but did I ride <laughs> it was no joke it was good but Woo! <laughs> so we're just here now relaxing at this which, you know toddler you know area that they have for kids you need to use the bathroom okay <laughs> 